Hey Rob, I can't believe we're on day 30 already. Wow. Remnants or the scraps of um, AB wipes and <laughs> um, what's this interfacing? So I'm going to do a very simple notebook cover, I think. I have a piece here that I went too mad with with the paint, didn't like. I put some gold on, which has really made it much nicer, and then I'm going to cover most of it because I don't like it. So I'm thinking I'm going to layer that one to take away some of the, the too dark, and that I really did like. I don't mind the back, that's boring. I'm thinking that I like. Now I thought about stitching it, I thought about sticking my my very friendly stick and spray. And then I suddenly thought, actually, let's try some fabric tack. I have no idea how this will work. That's roughly where I want it. Let's see if this will do it. I appreciate that lots of people don't have sewing machines. I have to say, I've had a sewing machine since I was about 12 years old. Oh, okay, that's... I wonder if that will try. Now what I am going to do, I've got some of this coffee stain paper left. I'm going to um, back it because I don't like the inside of this piece of paper. That goes over the edge, and it's just. I think also I'm going to trim it all down. Ooh, that's made it almost translucent where the fabric tanks come through. And here, look and learn. Now, this one, I quite like the crinkly bits. Not the top and bottom, but I also appreciate I am going to have to trim those down for my own brain, otherwise my brain is going to go, no! I think that's why I struggled so hard with the grunge, because I couldn't, my brain couldn't compute that you were leaving um, all these unfinished bits, like, no! Let's make sure this sticks properly. If I slap this in the middle, ish, I shouldn't lose too much when I come to trim it. The baby wipes really do give interesting textures. I've got that in the middle. Yep. No, I just love that colour combination. <laughs> See what I mean? I just went too mad with the colours. A little bit carried away, I think, is the first time I'm looking for. I wanted to make this nice and quick and easy. That's why I was thinking, oh... I want to stitch it. Right, so if I just fold that down a little. I'm just loving the fact that I can use things I would normally throw away. Right, that definitely needs trimming. Okay. And do I trust myself to cut a straight line? Otherwise, I'm never going to get, get papers lined up inside. No, I don't. There we go. That's an interesting offcut. Mm. 
Now, I've got, got sorry silk. silk. These are the bits that I've never known what to do with, so they sort of been stuck. Um, <laughs> stuck in the shelf unit. It's like a whole bag of this sort of colours. And, and I've also got, got this is a uh, one inch seam binding and, and I painted, painted it. That's, that's actually, actually been, I did this for something else and I never used it all. So I can't quite decide. It might be a bit too thick. That's a little lot of stuff. Oh, we, we could go for those. those. Maybe, maybe too much. much. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's, that's awkward, awkward because the blue picks out the blue. And the purple is just a nice contrast. contrast. Choice is. I do, I do want, want to tie on it. It's just going to be a little notebook. Probably just go in a journal. Maybe we don't put anything on it. Maybe we leave it like that. There's a thought. It doesn't need decoration on the front. No, I've got wire. And I've dug out a load of colour beads. So what, what I'm thinking is... I'm going to hand stitch. I've, I've got, got them on the wire, wire simply so I can just stitch them to the front. So if I cut the wire, I'll show you what I mean. Right, let's cut it like there. And I've got these. These are actually for making the loops on the end. Let's make sure I get it going the same type of way. Very clever. Whoever thought of doing this. So, so that was a bit of a tail going on, on which is going to hurt. hurt. That's better. Okay. This wire is extremely soft. So, we, we have two beads and we have the little curly things, things on the end. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to use that as a decoration on the front. front. And I'm going to stitch that on, one at each end. So, needle and thread through each end. And then I'm also going to run a line, stitch between the big one. So I've deliberately done an uh, odd number of beads so I can stitch through the middle and that should hold that in place and then I am going to, I am going to stitch around that so that it will go like that so that's kind of stitched on and then I am going to have another machine stitch around there right, I'll, I'll go, go and get that done and then I will be right back right, I've stitched round machine stitch around there and then I've hand stitched the the wire on so if I hold it up you can see so we've got I've gone round three times through that one and through the bottom one and then twice on I don't know if this is going to show up um, possibly twice around the wire each side of the big bead and that was so much easier than sewing individual beads on so I am going to line mine with this uh, coffee dyed paper A because I hate the insides and B to cover up my um, my rather naff hand stitching so I'm just going to, I don't want it to go to the edges so what I'm going to do is I want that kind of gap I think all the way around 
Because I quite like the filly bits. I can use it to cut there. And so cut there, I think. Now if I can get a sort of straight line, I suppose that would be useful. As you're saying that, you've got silly bits on these papers, so I suppose that sort of matches in. Um, so it look about equal. That does. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm not even sure the best way of sticking this on. Okay, there's, and I've decided against having a tie because I really like the beads, so I don't want to tie on it. Okay, I should have done this before I put the beads on, but then I wouldn't be able to hold the sti hide the stitching. Right, best way of doing this. Um, do you know what? Let's go for this. Cabrita. Do we want the light one? So, or the dark one? There's enough dark going on in that. It doesn't need any more. Never mind. Let's see how we get on. Let's get rid of that bit. Uh, about that, eh? Put it on my fingers. Now this bit, because of the beads, I'm going to have to pick up and squish. holes in and I can't work out if that's the glue. No, it can't be the glue. Must have been why I scrubbed it too much with the um, paintbrush. Alright, there we have an inside. Now, am I supposed to let that dry first? Possibly. Hey, we have a notebook cover. Do you know that would be just as nice as an envelope? I've got some printed papers that I was use. I've got left over from making some stuff. They could, I suppose, be left. A bit there, and then they need cutting and putting in sewing in the cover. <laughs> I'm loving this. Okay, cut to fit, and then I need to sew down the middle. Now, I like using my machine for this, with these little notebooks. First of all, I need to mark out where the middle is, don't I? That could be a bit awkward otherwise. I do that in the middle. <laughs> I've 
Haven't I got a line for stitching? Way, and if I can line it up with these, hopefully I'm going to get it in the middle. Right, I think that's about it. Right, stitch it. Right, longest stitch. If you, if you do a straight machine stitch, it has to be a longest one. Otherwise, all you do is make perforations, and then it just rips. I know from experience. I know. Right, let's try and fold it. And if you want a much neater finish, then you just do a normal pamphlet stitch on it. There we go. One little notebook, although I am, I think, I'm going to trim that bottom piece off a bit because it's much longer now I've got it together. Let's just make it a bit more pleasing to the eye. And blimey, that was straight, wasn't it? I was trying to avoid the um, threads. Now I'm going to leave the frilly bit on the top. <laughs> oh my God. That appeals to my sense of humour. So there we have a little beaded notebook and a baby white some sort of scrap paper. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> Except that's really annoying me because it won't lie flat. Gotcha. Love it. Right, if I zoom in a bit, you can oh, stop messing with it. And then we have a little beaded note cover. Very easy, very simple. Love the way that the beads are on and there's no messing. There's no individual bead sewing. Okay. I take back the no messing bit. I need to get rid of some of that. It looks uneven. Hey. Okay. Hands off. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm done. Right. Until tomorrow. You take care now. Bye.